Previously on P-Dubs Arcade Loft, I had reviewed the iArcade Gold Edition Space Invaders cabinet. I'll have a link pop up on the top right of your screen right now, as well as in the video description below. The iArcades all come with these uh, Sanwa clone buttons. They all Every skin they release, they come with the red and black buttons. And of course, I'm a little bit nitpicky, and although these buttons are more than serviceable in my opinion, nice clicky feel to them, etc., I don't think the colors match the cabinet, so from an aesthetic point of view, I wanted things to look a little bit better. So what we're going to install here on this cabinet are some Ultimark Gold Leaf Arcade push buttons. What's really nice about these are they'll be plug and play with the existing connectors in the iArcade control panel. Same size wire gauges, connectors, spades, etc. And also these buttons are, you know, because they have a leaf switch, it means there's no clicking micro switch. And these should have a good feel to them and play really, really nice. Taking a look at the inside of the control panel of the iArcade Space Invaders, you'll notice here's our encoder board, right? We just got one big harness that all of your joystick and button wires go into, so we don't have separate terminal connectors for each individual wire. So if you're going to do this mod, you're going to have to be extra careful. And what do I mean by extra careful? You're going to want to take your time, go slow, and use some finesse uh, with the existing spade connectors, removing those from the existing buttons. A lot of them will pop right off if you give them a gentle tug. And on some of them, I had to pull out a pair of pliers and very carefully, very slowly, get them to pop off of the existing button without damaging, breaking the connector or, or damaging the wire itself. Luckily, I got lucky there, which is really great. And obviously, once you pop out the existing buttons, these new buttons screw right in. And since they use the same connection terminal ports, it's easy just to plug them back in. Just go slowly one button at a time and you'll be done. And again, I really like having the Ultimark Gold Leaf buttons in this Multicade. But if we're going to change the buttons, we might as well change the colors on our joysticks. So these uh, bat tops that iArcade uses are actually pretty nice quality on this generation of cabinet versus the ball tops on the original cabinet. So we're going to change those out as well. Now, my original intention was to have uh, the blue on the player two side, have white on player one side, and I was going to change out that power sleep button to a red light up button. And with this nice little red circle on the control panel right around where the joystick sits, I was thinking, hey, maybe if we just put a clear dust topper on here, it'll look good. And that way we could have red there and a red light up button. But after I put everything together, it didn't look good. So I just went back to the black dust covers. For right now, I'm not changing out the joysticks. I'm going to keep the Sanwa clone joysticks that came with the unit, along with the springs that came with the unit. comes with four pound springs. But I want to get a little bit more height with the bat top, so I'm going to use these uh, Sanwa shaft extenders that I got from DIY Retro Arcade. And what's really nice is these just screw right on top of the existing joystick that sticks up from your control panel. Adds additional length. I wanted to go with some really nice bat tops on this unit uh, versus cheaping out and just getting something off Amazon, etc. So from Focus Attack, I picked up a couple of Sanwa LB30 bat tops. These are really nice bat tops and they come with a nice little adapter as well. That way they'll fit an assortment variety of Sanwa sized joysticks. You just screw on the adapter, then screw the bat top on top of it, then take a flathead screwdriver to the bottom of the control panel and get everything a nice twist and everything will be locked in nice and tight and won't come loose. Originally, I was going to do all white buttons on this control panel, but as you can see, if you go with dark blue or if you go with light blue like I did, or if you go with white or if you go with a mixture, in my opinion, these look stunning. I think this definitely makes the control panel pop more and looks better, and in my opinion, it matches the cabinet better, a lot more so than the original stock red and black buttons that came with the iArcade. Again, doing this kind of mod is a little bit costly, and of course, it's 100% optional. I just want everything to match. By the way, I also threw in my glass from my previous iArcade, the II Arcade glass versus the Plexi, and that looks fantastic as well. Definitely wanted to give you guys some modding ideas. Hopefully you like this. I think this looks great. I'm going to keep it white, black, and blue, but I want to know what you think. Leave me your comments, feedback, reactions below. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up on the way out. And as always, my dudes, thank you for subscribing.